So hi guys, in this video we will be taking one machine learning model and we deploy on web using Flask. So I hope you all have done this uh, challenge of hard work pays off. So we will be doing that uh, same challenge and we'll deploy that into web. So uh, I have created this folder here, marks prediction. And inside this folder, uh, this is the training data, right? And uh, this is the notebook. So uh, let's create a Jupyter server first to, ch to check out this notebook, uh, notebook. So let's go to uh, this directory and I can create Jupyter server. So uh, this was our notebook with a uh, hard work pays off challenge. So I have imported first these three necessary libraries. I have loaded the both X train and Y train data set scattered, right? And then instead of writing the whole code from scratch, what I have done is used SKLearn linear model. So from SKLearn linear model import linear regression class and then we uh, made one object LR of linear regression class with normalized equal to true and then LR dot fit X, Y. So fit method is like the whole training. So let's fit. Now what I can do, I can predict anything. So this LR has a predict method. And uh, let's suppose, so I hope you remember that uh, this data was for marks prediction. So suppose, let's suppose uh, if a student has studied for four hours, how much marks the student will get, right? So the dependent variable was marks and the independent variable was how much study, how much hours for the student has studied. So let's say studied, the student has studied for four hours and now let's predict. So if it has given an error, so value error, so the error says expected 2D array got in scalar array instead. So uh, we have to give input in 2D array, kind of this thing. So if you remember, Let's suppose we have only one feature. So we give in uh, when we were, when we predict something. So we give input is in m comma one, right? In this format, if we have two feature, we give in m comma two. But what is the dimension? So dimension is two D. So that's why we have to enclose in two D first, and then we give to input. So allow dot predict. So we have got the result. Now what can I do? Uh, is Let's save. Uh, so uh, basically, I have predicted for all the x, all the values, and uh, it has given me the right line, the correct slope and intercept. Right now, from sklearn dot externals, I am importing joblib. So basically, what I am doing is uh, this lr, this uh, variable. This was the model of linear regression. Now I am saving this model into disk. So uh, why I'm saving this model into disk so that I do not have to train the data again and again. So every time I come to this, uh, this notebook, I have to train the data otherwise. So I will just load the data, load the model and can directly predict. So therefore this, uh, from sklearn.external job lib function will help to save the data into disk. So I'm importing this and uh, I'm uh, the, just to uh, joblib dot dump. This is a function, and it receives one parameter, which is the model or basically the variable, which variable you want to store to disk with what file name. So here the file name is model dot pkl. So basically, pkl is the extension for pickle file, pickle library. You can also save in dot json format or dot txt format, but usually model usually like everyone prefer to save model in dot pkl format. So once you have uh, saved the file, uh, save the model into uh, disk, you will see that uh, you get model.pkl as well, right? Model.pkl, you got model.pkl. Now you can load this model into M. Let's suppose the model is M. Now you can again predict. So this M will behave like LR after training. So M has a method predict. I can give four it will predict. So this is the same thing we are going to do in Flask. 
it's just we will import uh, the model first we'll import uh, we'll load the model using a job lib dot load model tkl and then we can predict the input the user has given right so uh, let's uh, do one thing let's open this folder in sublime so marks prediction let's open this in sublime right so what i need to do first i need to create app.py right which is the main file for flask that will create your server so let's save this file with the name of app.py and inside app.py what i need to write everything what uh, we have done here not everything but i will copy the code from here and i i will keep only the important things like i do not require this friends variable number variable i do not require app about route also and home route also so let's delete these two routes and also let's delete uh, the submit route for now let's delete this uh, these two as well right but i need to create a uh, index.html so again i need to make a folder templates i need to do template folder and inside the template folder i need to create new file save this file with name of index.html right so i can close these two things and inside the index.html let's create title of uh, marks prediction and in the body let's say there is an h1 which says marks prediction and uh, then we need a form because we want to get uh, input from the user so form is closed and uh, there are two important method uh, attribute basically the method is we are sending data with post method and then we have action so we had seen already how to uh, send data into a different route right so you have already seen this but this time i will send data to the same route right to the same route but the method is post so i we will see uh, this that how we can handle the get request and the post request on the same route basically on the same url right so first you need to and uh, you need an input field with uh, let's say this is a text only with the no name of ours and it will uh, the placeholder is uh, how many hours so uh, we can say this placeholder is hours and there will be a submit button input type is equal to submit we don't require to uh, put the name so this is it in the index.html and here at the route uh, in the app.py this was just for get request now for post request i can do app dot route route name is basically the same slash but method should be methods it should be list of post right now create a new function let's say get marks and uh, first i need to retrieve the data so i can check uh, first let's say request dot method equal to equal to if it is really post request post method then now i need to get hours how much how many hours a student has studied so i can do with request dot forms forms is a dictionary right not form just form and what was the key the key was uh, this hours with an uh, with name whatever you give in name so hours so hours and uh, i can convert into the float because it will return you string right so i can convert into a float now what i need to do i need to uh, input this r into model but for model you need to import cycle learn the, uh, basically the job lib function from the cycle learn library from sklearn dot externals import job lib right you need to create a model how job lib dot load has a function and you have the file with name of file name is model dot pkl 
you need to import uh, you need to load this file basically the file name is model dot pkl right now you can send this uh, number of hours to model so let's say you get marks as model dot predict and in the prediction you will give uh, in double uh, double as in you need to convert into the 2d array and then number of hours you study right so it will return you something it will return you a float value but uh, let's convert float value into string because we want to display the string and what you can do you can return basically the same template so you can return let's say render template and the template name is same index.html but it will have one parameter or basically one variable which is your marks and marks right this way so what you can do in index.html you have access of your marks variable you will have you have access of your marks variable so you can just uh, do this thing so h1 your marks are h1 close uh, let's say in italics you can write your marks right correct so it will compute a uh, marks and you are passing marks into your marks okay so uh, now let's run the server right now this uh, flask server is running on this folder flask tutes right so i need to interrupt the server and go to the marks prediction folder this folder so cd desktop and uh, then cd to marks prediction and here i need to run python app.py so the server has started right let's come to the home route slash but uh, uh, let's check for 2.5 and submit so you get 2d array and you got the result basically you got the result you can uh, you can get a retrieve this value using the 00, 0 indexing but at the starting at the when you load the page you are seeing your marks are and the empty right so what do you want to do your marks are visible only when you hit the submit button basically submit button right so what you can do uh, because when the page loads uh, when you hit the first uh, your first url at that time your marks this variable is none so that's why this is displaying nothing and it is displaying just your marks are colon so you can put a check uh, you can put a check like if there is something in your marks if your marks is not none basically if there is something in your marks then only display this otherwise don't display this so you can just close and f right save this and uh, just retrieve the zeroth index and zeroth index so i hope this is clear why zero zero is used here just to get the first element of 2d array right so let's refresh this again now uh, your marks uh, that statement is not visible here correct so i have studied for four hours let's suppose submitted and your marks are this much correct so this is how we can deploy a simple machine learning model into web uh, if you know some bootstrap or css uh, you can make this look uh, prettier and uh, otherwise we will cover how uh, some basics of bootstrap and css and directly how can we use some uh, styling in this page but uh, you can use this project as in you can make other sql and models or other uh, models to deploy in in flask right